this here is a, a review of the Zoom F2 field recorder. This is a review and unboxing uh, by your average Joe YouTuber, which is me. I think I got like you know a little over 100 subscribers, so you know, we're no big deal here, okay? And I bought this, so uh, this is a completely uh, my opinion of this unit. Uh, mainly the reason I bought it is because I was intrigued by the fact that they said that you don't have to set the gain on it. Uh, you can just literally plug it in, turn it on, and then you can, it will not clip. So we're going to test that out today. We're going to find out if it will or will not <laughs> and, and what it sounds like. You know, does it sound good? Is it an ad? Is it not an ad? Did I waste my money? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. I hope not. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is the Zoom F2. I'll show you a close up of it. Well, if I can get my, obviously, uh, back it up a little bit. There we go. So that's what it looks like, the box. We're going to unbox it right here, right now. Let's see. Out of here. Got a sign. Looks like it's got manual and stuff in there. We don't need that, right? <laughs> uh, looks like it's probably the unit, the little unit inside there, and uh, wires, and uh, little clip, and windscreens. All right, so let's get this thing out of here and put it together and see what we can figure out. Okay, so we got the different parts and pieces out. This is the unit that was inside the... Put it in the light a little bit better. Put it in the other camera. So, that's the unit. Uh, it also comes with... the actual microphone which has got a little screw-on connector oops I didn't go the right direction mark got a little screw-on connector there and then it also came with this bag of little I got windscreens and and a clip to go on there so I put these together make sure I plug it in the right one one's a one's a mic input and the other one is a headphone output so you want to put it into the mic input that would be the right one <laughs> all right oh and it did actually come with some batteries too it did come with a couple of triple uh, a batteries which it takes two triple a batteries a little fyi there for you all right so uh, i think the first thing i need to do is format the uh, sd card which it does not come with an sd card by the way so you'll need a what they call the little micro sd cards uh, oh, I don't know how to do that right there so you'll need one of those and there's if you go to the um, zoom website they've actually got some information about which ones are compatible and whatnot with this unit I guess it doesn't work with all of them evidently I don't know uh, so I didn't actually check and see if this one works with it or not it's one I had so I'm gonna try it it'll either work or it won't right um so let me get all this stuff hooked up to the computer and then I'll show you uh, what the screen looks like for the F2 editor app, which the F2 editor app is what you would use to actually uh, do all the settings on this unit. Uh, they do make another unit, it's called a, a F2 B BT, which stands for Bluetooth, and you can make all those settings on a phone by connecting it to it, but it's like... It's like 50 bucks more, you know, 40 or 50 bucks more for, I, to me, I didn't see the benefit. I figure this is going to be something you're going to set it and leave it, right? I mean, you're not going to be changing stuff all the time on it. You're just going to set it and leave it the way I look at it. So I didn't really see the benefit of that. But, you know, somebody might see the benefit. Now, you can start recording and stop recording using the Bluetooth, from what I understand. I haven't used it, so I don't know. But from what I gather, that's what you can do with the Bluetooth, which you cannot. You're going to have to physically touch this one, all right? But, you know, uh, for me, that's not a problem. 
So anyway, uh, I'll put it together and then we'll get you uh, a screen recording of what the actual software looks like. So this is uh, how we've got it connected here. This is just a USB-C cable going straight into the Mac. And uh, that's how we got it hooked up. All right, so this here is the Zoom F2 editor software. And as you can see, it shows connected to it. And uh, it looks like you have a low cut filter, which you can turn off or on. It doesn't look like you can set the, the frequency, but 80 hertz would be enough. Just a low end roll off is basically all that would be. And then you can adjust the output volume. I'm not sure because uh, the individual unit has uh, some output volume adjustment capability on the unit itself so I'm not sure what that output volume is uh, I don't know maybe you can adjust I don't know I don't know, I don't know exactly what that's for um, so I'll have to learn about that one I, I, th I guess I will have to actually break out the manual huh uh, you can set it to 44 1 32 bit float or 48 kilohertz uh, 32 bit float. I've got it set to 48 because, well, most videos are 48. So, and you can have the file name be a user defined file name or it can be a date uh, based file name. Date, bait, date based file name makes sense to me, so I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, looks like you can send the PC time to the F2. Uh, and then you can tell it what battery type you have. I just got some regular alkaline batteries in there, so I'll leave it on alkaline. And then it looks like it will auto power off after a certain period of time. I'm thinking that I'm going to be manually, you know, handling this thing each time I use it. So it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to have an auto power off. So I'm just going to leave that off. Um, and then if I had a Bluetooth version, I guess this here would be, you know, show up as something I could actually do and then this is how you would format the SD card which I've actually already done that so um, so there and then factory reset okay so currently we're on uh, my Townsend Labs Sphere microphone uh, and I am about to hook up the little I guess you'd call it Zoom F2 microphone I think this is called a LM2 or something like that. It's it's the one that came with it. So I'm about to hook it up. Uh, I'm just going to clip it on here. All right, so we're still on the uh, Townsend Labs microphone. I'm about to switch this unit on. All right, it's in record mode. And then this also has a locking switch on it, so you can't accidentally turn it off and stop recording. So currently we are recording on this. So right now we're on the Townsend Labs mic. And I'm going to switch right now to the Zoom F2. And uh, you can hear what the difference is yourself. So uh, I think what I'll also do is I think I'll carry this thing outdoors and actually take the phone with me and actually do some recording outdoors because that's you know probably what I'll be mostly using it for. So I'm going to go outside with it and uh, see how that sounds. See if it picks up a lot of background noise and whatever else. See how well it works. I'm just going to leave it just like it currently is and go outside. Okay, so we are about to head outside. Okay, so here we are, outdoorsage. We're going to walk around over here where the chickens are at. See what's going on with the chickens. See, look at there. There's the chickens, chicken house. Walk down here, because this is what we do when we're outside recording. That's right, wandering around my own yard. Oh, I'm wondering if it picks up on the chickens there. We don't know. There's the chickens. Gotta love them. So we're gonna do us a, a shouting test to see if this thing can clip or not. Because we want to know. Will it clip? We don't know. We're going to find out. Hey! 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 What I have here is I've got the two 32-bit float files that were recorded by the F2 field recorder. Basically what I did is I brought them in here and tried to kind of level match them. Uh, and I'll try and kind of, you know, 
keep everything around the same levels. Uh, it's not going to be an exact science, but pretty close. These here are running around uh, around negative 12 dB, somewhere around in there where they're kind of peeking at. There, once in a while, get a little bit over. Um, but the really loud portion is actually right here. And uh, that one there, I had to reduce the overall signal level by negative uh, 13.4 dB in order to get it down to somewhere reasonable. For me, I hear clipping in there. I don't know if it's a result of the microphone or exactly what it is, but to me, it sounds like it's clipping. So, um, but I was pretty loud. So, I'll just let you hear that part. I don't know if it's going to come through here or not. Let's see. We'll find out, guy, Bolly. Find out. Hey, hey, hey. So that is, uh, you know, not loud, but the signal is in my ear to my ears sounds clipped, and um, all I did was reduce the volume. So technically, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to have enough. Um, volume uh, room there to pull it down and it won't clip. It's supposed to be way, way, way above uh, where it could clip at. So I don't know, you know, theoretically it should work, but it doesn't sound to me like it worked perfectly. Now I was, you know, in honest, all honesty, I was very loud, um, but, uh, you know, probably much louder than what anybody would typically be. So probably under most circumstances it would be fine. And it doesn't clip a lot. It's just a little bit. Hey, hey, hey! I hear it mostly on that first one. Hey, hey, hey! And the third one, not so much on the second one. So, I don't know if those were just louder or or what, but. Hey, hey, hey! But I I definitely hear some distortion there. So anyway, thought that might be of some help to you when you uh, take a look at this. All right, so what are my final thoughts about the Zoom? Let's see if I can get this in there uh, decently. The Zoom F2 field recorder and uh, the mic that comes with it. I would say all in all, it's pretty good. Uh, I was very satisfied with the quality of the actual recording. The recordings came out really, really good. Um, and uh, I love the size. The size and the... Uh, simplicity of no setting basically you just you just hook it up turn it on put it in record mode and record so you know from that standpoint it's really pretty nice i like that uh, and it's this thing is you know it's teeny it's really not not big so i can't i have i have trouble with this left and right thing <laughs> uh, but i mean really that's very small so um i, I like that quite a bit um uh, importing finished wave files it's pretty straightforward um, what I ended up doing is I actually pulled the, the card out of the unit and stuck I have an actual micro SD slot on my computer so I just plugged it straight into the micro SD slot and move files around that way um, it seemed to be pretty simple and straightforward didn't take any time when you know, confusing. You know, I mean, it was right there in the root directory of the of the uh, micro SD card. So that that part worked good. Uh, the only negative I would say, and this is actually pretty minor, but uh, the only negative I would say is they kind of imply that you can't distort this thing. But in actual practice, I found that I was actually able to make it distort. Now maybe I'm just really really loud. I don't know. And maybe it's a, a you know a limitation of the actual microphone capsule. You know I don't I don't know the reason why, uh, but when I went in and actually tried to do what they suggested, which was just you know clip gain uh, the actual audio down, uh, that it's not supposed to. You're supposed to be able to get the whole waveform then, and it didn't seem to be the case with me. Now, it could be a limitation of my software. I, you know, I don't know the reason. I don't know the technical reason. And maybe it'll work fine for somebody else. But for me, in practice, it didn't actually work. Uh, but, again, I was really, really loud. Uh, way louder than I think I would ever actually be in any 
real world, real world circumstance. So, eh, I don't know. I don't really think it's going to be an issue. Let's put it that way. Uh, I was I was hoping that you couldn't clip it, you know. But I found in practice that I actually could. So, um, so maybe you know, maybe that'll help somebody. Um, if if you're looking for something that absolutely cannot be clipped. Um, but whether or not, you know, that was something that I was doing. And maybe, you know, one of you guys know why I was able to clip it. I don't know. <laughs> because, because I don't know. But uh, in practice, it did not work for me. Would I recommend it? Yes, I definitely would recommend it. I think it's, I think it's, a, I mean, that gun, you know, look how small that is, you know. I mean, that is, that's small. And, and it works, you know. So it's small, it works, the, it, the audio quality is good, um, and they're not terribly expensive. I think this one here was 159 I think, you know. Now the Bluetooth version I think is a little bit more. I want to say it's right around 200 uh, But, you know, and if you need that functionality, then, you know, by all means. But I just didn't feel like it was necessary. I, I was looking for something simple, and this is simple, and I like it. So for that very reason, yes, I would recommend it. All right, thanks. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, subscribe. And if you liked it, hey, click on like. We like it. <laughs> thanks.